Justin Atkins, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro here with you, and today I'm gonna go over selecting the right rod. You can't get any more basic in bass fishing than which fishing pole you're gonna use. And um, in today's times, there's thousands of brands and models and um, all kind of different specifications. So I'm gonna try to help break that down and make it a little more simple for you and uh, showcase the new um, line of rods from Fenwick. So just to get started, um, we have four different rods in this series and um, a couple high points that I want to talk about them is that we really focused on what we're going to call family flex. In previous um, in other brands in previous years, um, we've made rods that a medium heavy did not feel the same depending on which rod you were using. And it's really aggravating and frustrating, especially with um, ordering rods over the internet. You're not, you know, you don't have them in your hand. Maybe you have felt one that was a, you know, was a medium and you liked the way the rod felt, but you wanted something that was a little stiffer. So you order a medium heavy and it comes in and it's really stiff or it's more limber than you were looking for. So by being able to um, create these rods to have the exact same amount of flex um, from series to series will allow you to, let's say you used a, you know, you used an Eagle um, on a fishing trip with a friend and you wanted to order a world class or an HMG or something that was a little more high end, you know exactly what you're getting when you order that rod. So I'm gonna pick two, these are two spinning rods. And you can just see these are both 7-1 medium heavies. One of them is brand new, one of them is out of my personal stash, but you just get the exact same amount of bend with the exact same amount of pressure. I guess we'll take a step back here for a second and I'll go over the what the four series actually are. So this one and this one, these beautiful green rods are part of the line that we call Eagle. So this is gonna be the most value priced rod that we have to offer. Um, it's gonna fall right in there around that $100 range. It doesn't like anything. What we, uh, we really laughed about was how beautiful these rods were and how much they truly do compare to our high end. The difference is gonna be um, real seat. As you go up in weight, I mean, as you go up in price, you're reducing weight, you're getting higher uh, quality components, which are a little bit lighter. So this rod's gonna be our base model. It's, it's gonna be the heaviest rod that we offer, but it's also, but at $100, it is a, you know, it's a great price rod. It's a, it's a very light rod. Um, it's super well balanced, and it's this beautiful painted green color. We went with a very natural selection of colors because we've learned that those bright whites, reds, yellows, all those take a lot of coats of paint. The problem with a lot of coats of paint creates a lot of weight um, and kills sensitivity. The next rod in the lineup is going to be an HMG. That's going to be the next step up. This rod's going to fall in that $130 to $150 range depending on which action you pick. And uh, it is a more of an earth tone. Um, it's a beautiful rod. You can feel the weight, you know, the weight difference in the two, but it's very minimal. But as you step up, that weight gets less and less. Um, the next rod in the lineup is gonna be an Elite. And this rod is almost a gray blue color. Um, it's gonna fall in that mid $200 range and uh, it steps up to really high components. Um, the guides are zirconium and uh, the real seat's super light. Um, they get into titanium guides. Like it's just, it, it lightens, it's really light and lightened up. Um, it's this uh, light gray color and that one's gonna be an elite. And the last rod is gonna be a world class. And that one is top of the line. Creme de la Creme is the best, you know, the best rod on the market that Fenwick makes. It's a dark black color and uh, it has the best components, the best real seat. It's super comfortable in your hand and it's super lightweight. As you step up, they all feel light, but if you pick this one up and pick this one up, you can tell there's several ounces difference and ounces make a lot of difference when you're holding something all day long. These are 7.3 medium heavy extra fast, both of them are. And you can just see here, that when you pick them both up, you're going to get the same amount of flex with the same amount of pressure. So you know what you're getting into. I brought in a few of just kind of my favorites. Um, there's thousands and thousands of different rods out there. You can get fast, medium, heavies, moderates, whole nine yards. So just to keep it simple, these are a few that I use with a lot of different techniques. Um, the first one is going to be a spinning rod. Um, spinning rods are super user friendly for kids, 
for um, people that haven't fished very much, just getting anybody into fishing. You don't have to worry about bird's nest, backlash, and the whole nine. So a spinning rod is a great place to start. And day in and day out, this is one that I'm gonna use. It's a 7-1, um, medium, extra fast. The uh, medium is gonna be the power of the rod from here to here. It's gonna tell you how much power and how the strength of the rod back here. Fast or extra fast is telling you about the tip. Um, it's letting you know how much give that tip's gonna have. So a fast is gonna load up, you know, relatively slow, but an extra fast it gets into it. So I guess the easiest way to explain this, as it was explained to me, is fast versus extra fast is how quickly the rod's gonna load up into its medium or medium heavy power. So an extra fast would stiffen up faster than this fast rod. Hopefully that'll make some sense as we go through these. But for a spinning rod that you're going to use lots of different techniques on, we can throw a worm, we can throw a topwater, you can throw a chatterbait, whatever. If you had somebody that you just wanted to take fishing, a 7-1 medium extra fast spinning rod in this lineup is gonna be a great option. If we are going to get a little more technical and let's say we're gonna throw jerk baits, small crank baits, um, you know, anything that's lightweight, I'm gonna go to a 7-1 medium moderate fast. So moderate is a new word that we haven't heard yet. And what moderate means is, is it's gonna be a lot slower all the way to the bottom. So it'll have a lot more parabolic bend to it. And that is great for using treble hooked baits. If you're throwing top waters, jerk baits, crank baits, anything that, um, is gonna you know, have a treble hook on it, something that it's hard to land fish on, you're gonna want a moderate rod because what happens is when you really load that rod up and the moderate action allows it to get further you know, um, into the bend, when that fish jumps or makes a hard run to you or whatever, you've already got the rod loaded up so much it, it allows pressure to stay on those hooks and so the fish can't get slack in the bait and lose it. So then stepping on up into the next deal, this is a 7.2 medium heavy moderate fast. So here's a, we have a medium and a medium heavy here and I'll just show you the difference. You can see how much easier this one wants to bend over this one and the bend runs a lot deeper into the rod. So when I would step up to a medium heavy would be if I'm gonna throw larger spinner baits, larger chatter baits, um, big top waters or swim baits, something that's gonna have a little more weight to it it's going to be harder to cast. Um, you're going to want to step up in power to like a medium heavy. And um, I still like to use that moderate anytime I'm winding a bait. So anything that's moving, um, spinner baits, chatter baits, all that, I like to have that moderate action because it allows you to really set the hook hard on the fish without worrying about breaking him off. And then we're going to go to this one. So this is, if I had to pick one rod, that I was gonna do everything with and only fish with in a casting rod, it's gonna be a 7.3 medium heavy extra fast. Um, this rod will do anything and everything and it is a great length for all heights. Um, as, you know, as people get taller and shorter, different rods will fit them better and a 7.3 is just an absolute great rod. You can throw a worm out deep, you could pitch down the bank, you could throw a spinner bait, you could do whatever you wanted to. And like I said, we offer it in all four series especially in this Eagle. Um, it's a great priced rod and it is day in and day out the number one rod that I would pick and offer or you know recommend to anybody that's getting into fishing that wants to buy one setup that they can go to the lake with their friend or throw it in the back of their truck and go to a pond. A 7.3 medium heavy extra fast is gonna be my number one pick. And then lastly, um, if you wanna really get into some serious bass fishing, you live in Florida, you are a flipper, you throw big swim baits. Um, a rod that I would get into would be like a 710 heavy fast. So um, that's, I believe we make one eight foot rod, but as far as in the bass line, um, 710 is gonna be the longest rod that we make. We offer it in a heavy and an extra heavy. And this is gonna be like, this is, this is heavy duty. This is where we're flipping grass, we're punching mats, um, we're throwing a giant glide bait whole nine yards. This is um, where you're really going to get into that. Um, that is 
something that has come along, you know, in bass fishing here lately is throwing those giant baits and things. So we really wanted to have a good selection of rods for, uh, for, those, for those applications. Um, as you get into this world class, I believe, I'll start at the beginning. Eagle's gonna be around that $100 mark. HMG is gonna be like $130 to $140 rod. When we get into Elite, it is gonna be low 200s, 220 to 240. And then your world class is gonna be a more high-end rod. It's gonna be in that $400 range. So um, it's all about finding what is gonna fit that application. If you're a diehard tournament fisherman and um, you have certain techniques that you really, you know, want to spend a lot of money to have a high-end setup for, you know, world class is the way to go. If you're trying to just round out a lineup and uh, have a couple rods that you'll be able to use for some different things that maybe, you know, come up from time to time, I would, you know, suggest something in that Eagle or in that HMG lineup because they're all great rods. And um, by using similar components to be able to get that same feel out of the rods, you're just you're not lacking you know with the eagle there was there was a time where when you bought a low-end rod of a lineup you just you just it left you you know really lacking for some I guess it left you desiring more but with uh, this new Fenwick lineup we really wanted to sell um, to the to the whole class of people and uh, They've been great. So I know we've covered a lot in a short amount of time and um, you know, rods and reels are, you know, um, personal preference. This is just a guide that I wanted to give you kind of my thought process and the way that I select rods, but everybody has their own personal preference. So if you have any questions about these, please hit us up in the comments, reach out to me on social media, and uh, I would love to answer those. Maybe um, a rod that I didn't mention today, if you have interest in it, whatever. Just reach out to us and uh, let me know, and we'll see what we can get answered for you. And you can find all these on sportsmansguide.com.